Are you ready? But Neil, I, I, Neil, I watch gaming videos and stuff. I don't know why all this keeps coming up. <laughs> I watch wrestling, Dragon Ball, yeah. But hold, hold on. <laughs> Dang I, it. I, I wonder like if it's here's the game. I understand, but hold on. Let me. Let me, maybe it's because. Maybe it's because. Hello. It's, can you hear me? I can't hear the game. I can't hear the game. Yeah, I'm talking. Can you hear me? Are you there? Yes. Can you not hear me? Hello. Are you there? Yes. Can you not hear me? Hold on. I'm gonna. Let me come back in. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Hey. Right, well, I was just I'm in the middle of saying. I can't, I can't. All I can hear is the game volume. I can't hear what you're doing. Can. But. Okay. Yeah. But I'm not doing anything else. I'm just talking. Oh, okay. I thought you were do. I thought you were doing something. You no. show me pictures of naked ladies, and I was like, "What's going on?" No, I'm just saying. I don't. I don't know why. Like this shit is showing up all the time. Like maybe once in a while I'll click on it because I'm like, "Whoa!" But I'm like, <laughs> I'm mostly watching wrestling and game right. stuff. I get. I don't know if it's because of. I mean, if I switch off of the, the channel that I'm, I'm like a moderator. Oh, damn it, that's not the one I want. It might be the other person who uses that account. <laughs> it could be. Oh what? no, it could be. That's funny. <laughs> um. All right. Well, the game's the game's done, so I can just close out. Oh, of that. thank God! Now I can finally hear what you're doing. <clears throat> I'm not doing nothing. Neil, stop fucking. <laughs> and can you stop that? So let's. How do you want to do this? Do you want to do this like we watch all the other people first, and then us, or we watch yeah. us first? Yeah, let's watch all the other people first. All right, junkyard dog, dog. He was kissing Annie. I didn't know what came over me. I just grabbed the nearest hoe. That wasn't Annie. What are you doing? You did, you're missing the ending. Where's the fuck it? Where's the start here? Thanks. <laughs> He's gonna pay for what he done. I could have auditioned for either Junkyard Dog or his truck, and I could have got both those roles. Uh oh. Full screen that, Neil. What, that would have been foolish if I didn't. I'd won the contest. And now, it was my turn to collect. I went to see Calypso. And just as promised, he delivered the goods. I knew right from the start, he'd get me the revenge I was craving. When we went back to the farm, Calypso said he had a little surprise for me. Somehow he'd done it. He'd found that Ugh. bastard who made me kill Annie. Ugh. Son of a bitch even brought his plane with him. Calypso said all I had to do to get him a prize was step aboard. It was a one way ticket to my heart's desire. That pilot had taken everything from me. Oh, Jesus. It was the right time he learned how it felt. <laughs> May have been only the second time I killed someone, but it felt so damn good. Huh? I think I was beginning to see my true calling. So I done gave up farming and moved into the city. In a place like that, well, who knows what kind of trouble an old redneck like me could get into. Oh, that's cool. Now he's a fucking serial killer. This guy had to censor out the fucking ending there.
creature. Man, this guy's a goofball. I know the Lord. I love this one. Me back with open eyes. I know the Lord. had triumphed over the darkness. <laughs> I visited Calypso. It was time for him to prove my innocence and clear my name. And yet, he seemed hesitant. I made no promise to clear your name, he said. I only promised to show you the truth. And the truth, he said, was that the demon wasn't real. The voice inside me was a figment of my imagination. Huh? My God, it was all in my mind. The exorcism? It wasn't an exorcism at all. It was simply a baptism. <laughs> it was Judgment Day in that <laughs> church, and I was the angel of death. <laughs> the truth had been delivered indeed. I've been trying not but to not make that God, joke this whole game. But by Calypso, he was right. It I wasn't was an exorcism. Insane. My whole life I'd been trying to silence that voice. I even performed rituals to show my loyalty to God in hopes that he would save me. <clears throat> but nothing worked. A man cannot hide from himself. There is only one path before me. So he just killed himself? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Agent Stone. I had won the contest. Now it was time to see if the rumors were true. Did Calypso really have the power to give me a second chance? He asked if I really wanted a second chance, if I understood the risks. But I wasn't going to screw up twice. This time, it was all going to work out. I demanded my prize. And just like that, I was back. I knew what to do this time. I had to contain my anger. I had to focus. That little girl was going to be safe. It was my sworn duty, both to her and to myself. He's drawing a weapon. All units open fire. Open fire. Shoot to kill. I made sure every single bullet found the right target this time. That dirt bag went down like a puppet with his strings cut. Terrorist is down. Terrorist is down. Great shooting agent. Make a team. Move it. But it wasn't over. Not until I knew those people were safe. They were shaken but alive. Calypso had done it. I never thought it could be like... Units, target is not down. Target is still hot. Wow. What a, what a shot that guy is. I, I was so close to making it right. Agent. Agent Stone, report in. Are you hit? Wow. <laughs> so he ended up dying too. Mm-hmm. And so mine's next, but we'll go to John Doe. Okay. John right. Doe. I'd won the contest. Now it was time for the truth. I went to see Calypso. Hopefully he would know who I was. He did. <clears throat> Jesus. I was FBI. I'd been deep undercover for the last year trying to bust a doomsday cult in Midtown. Calypso said I was a hero. That night I rushed back into the building. I had to get that bomb as far away as I could, but there just wasn't time. So I took the quick way out. The explosion knocked me out. Now I remember, I am a hero. <laughs> A hero undercover <laughs> agent standing in front of number two on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. Number two? In other words, a dead man. Calypso thanked me for being such a great contestant. Then he said goodbye. 
Who's I number one? Remember now. I have a family. God, I have a family. I'm just starting to remember. So he died too. Yeah, dog. Jeez. Everybody who's who's got a like uh like good intentions die. Oh, that's dumb. Unless you're evil, and you continue uh, living. It's dumb. So what do you know? I was the winner. Calypso's contest was over, and I was the champ. And true to his word, the man delivered the goods. I got my prize. He even had a special bonus lined up for me. It fit perfect, like we was meant to be together. I had seen fear in a man's eyes before, but this was different. This was special. I think that doctor, he knew payback was going to be brutal. It's funny, after all these years, I still got some snap in that left hook of mine. You know, that was the first time I ever knocked someone out with one punch. So he lived because he was evil? Because he wanted to kill someone. That's... Okay. All right. Uh, all right, I'll let it slide. All right. So Bloody Mary, what do you think is going to happen to her? She's probably going to kill someone. <laughs> so you think she's going to live? To a very special so. wedding. <laughs> I know that face. Just the ah. <laughs> I'm sure there were quite a few sour faces in town when all the girls learned I'd won the contest. Who's learning this? I demanded my prize from Calypso. I don't know. I wanted to meet my true love. Calypso delivered. It was my darling, my sweetheart, and he was gorgeous. Calypso told me he had to make a few modifications, but what man doesn't need a little adjusting here and there? As he held me in his big, strong arms, he leaned in to whisper something in my ear. To this day, I still can't believe what he said. I will never love you. Oh, Jesus. My God, I was so close. <laughs> but this wasn't my true love at all. He man, wasn't those, anything that like the man I thought face. he was. Certainly not good enough for a girl they like nailed me. It. My Prince Charming is out there. Man, look at I her. He is. I'll find him. Even if I have to go through each and every man, one at a time. <laughs> That's really funny. Mr. So she did live. Yeah, because she, she, she had bad intentions, Raven. <laughs> I'd won Calypso's stupid game. He said it was time to claim my prize. It was time for Kelly to get her revenge. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what Calypso was getting at at first. But then I began to see revenge this way. It's what Kelly would have wanted more than anything Kelly. in the world. An eye for an <laughs> eye, blood for blood. It was the code of the witch. It's weird. As I pushed that first pin down, I felt something give. It was like pushing into a person, and from far away, I could have sworn I heard someone screaming. It took two days for the cops to find the bodies. When they got there, well, let's just say it wasn't a very pretty sight. Dang. I've kept the voodoo dolls in case I ever run into my parents again. They got I know Oedipus I won't see Kelly wrecked. anytime soon, but I often feel like she's with me, protecting me. People may come and go, they live, and they die. But a true friend is forever. That's right, Neil. She lives, too. Yeah, because she killed so her, people. 
her intentions weren't bad. She was weren't. trying to like to help her friend. Yeah, but at the cost of murdering people. I guess so. Charlie Kane's son, Yellow Jacket. Remember that asshole? Mm-hmm. What a fucking cocksucker that guy was. Last year, everything was perfect. My dad drove this cab. He used to take me with him sometimes. I have a brother, but my dad won't let me talk about him. He says my brother <laughs> became really, really bad when he started driving this ice cream truck. Me and my dad, we were like best friends. But one night, there was this passenger. He had this gun. He killed my dad and then ran. I just sat there while my dad died. But then, I had this idea. I was able to put together this controller. It There's no way this little kid. my dad alive again. Fucking figured out how to do this. I control him now. People think it's weird. They don't like it. They want to put me in a home and bury my dad. Of course they do. But I don't want him to leave me. I don't want to be alone. That's why I entered this contest. When I win this game, Calypso promises he'll make everything all better. Like, how did the police not get you? I don't know. I had won the contest. I went to Calypso and asked for my prize. He promised that he'd make everything all better. It was a trick. He destroyed my controller. It killed my dad. I begged my dad to come back. I even tried to put the controller back together. But Calypso wouldn't let me. He said things in time would be all better. He said he needed someone to train to take over his contest when he died. He said my brother would have been the perfect choice. But since I killed him, I was the next best thing. He said, it is in my blood. Oh. So he became... He became, like, the next person in line? Kind of thing? Yeah, basically, like... Calypso um, Willy wonka him into becoming the next... <laughs> Uh, twist and metal person who runs it. Yeah, whatever you call that. Uh, we never oh. saw Axel's story. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh. That, 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 this is my guy, dog. I had won the contest. I went to Calypso and demanded my prize. I wanted to know who killed my wife. And I wanted revenge. I wanted revenge. It was him. That <laughs> freak in the ice cream truck. He was always around the neighborhood. I have I been more careful. I should have said something was wrong. It was my fault. Maybe I was really the one to blame for my wife's death. But then spoke to me your wife she didn't die easy you should know she begged for you as I killed her the clown is dead <laughs> but so is my wife I will never be free <laughs> So, you look, remember I told you that he wears the, the wheels as a torture device? Mm-hmm. In this game, he wears the wheels to torture himself because he let that happen to his wife. And he lets oh. his feet drag along the ground. Cage. This one makes me laugh so hard. Remember I told you that he wants to remove the part of his mind that makes him sad when he kills? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Holy shit, Neil. What a... What a... What a wish. I had won the contest. I 
went to Calypso and demanded my prize. I wanted him to remove the part of my brain that made me so sad whenever I took a human life. I wanted to become the best killer there ever was. Calypso went to work right away. And as a bonus, he didn't just operate on my head. He gave me a new pair of hands. They would become my trademark. When I killed, everyone would know it was me. The town was scared of that clown freak. <laughs> I'll show them something they'll never forget. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> guy's insane. Yeah, I don't oh, know Jesus. why... I don't understand... Black? Why, like... Black? Warthog Never had to be the special one-ending, like, character, and he was this fucking, like, psycho fucking... I want to remove the That's part it. of my brain that makes me sad. So, wanna... who is Black? Uh, he's, uh, like, the devil's buddy. He's telling him to go get Calypso, because he's... He stole his powers. Calypso. Calypso. <laughs> but where did you go? Screw you, love Calypso. <laughs> Imagine like, so on... huh? I was just gonna say, so he's hunting Calypso. Yeah, but like, imagine playing through all the way through the game, and you're like, he. There's only that one ending for that character, or you unlock mm -hmm. a character, and they have that one ending, and that's that's fucking it. Well, <laughs> like that was nothing. I remember being so fucking annoyed and disappointed at that. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Test was over, so I went and saw Calypso. I asked him to make good on his promise, to bring an end to all the pain, to take away my curse. He offered me a vial. He said inside it held the blood of the man who would cursed me on the <laughs> night of my execution. <laughs> he told me if I drank it, my curse would be over. But he also said. If I ever return to my killing ways, the antidote would wear off, and the curse would come back to haunt me. I had to decide. It took me all of ten seconds. Let's face it, boys and girls. A man has to have his priorities. <laughs> I killed Calypso about as well as I ever killed anyone. What? Now that I'm free, I'm going to be the greatest of all time. Ready to go. So now that now that I like think about how all the other endings, like if he's like trying to help you kill someone, mm -hmm. um, then he, he helps you out. But but then that one, he's like, if you if you drink that, then the antidote will wear off if you kill again. That's the only one. It's like a monkey spot kind of thing. Yeah, but he, everybody else, like, if you're, in, like, if you have dark intentions, then, like, good. But that one, like, it, like it'll wear off if we give you the tr the antidote, you know? That's the only mm -hmm. one that's kind of weird. But also, the game supposedly takes place in Sweet Tooth's mind. It It's all, like, encoded in, like, messages you see between the me the levels with mm -hmm. um with minion when you play as him which one is it uh, mr grim that's it Wait, and then you mm -hmm. remember he ate his friend <laughs> jesus remember Get when i told you that what were you expecting what are you doing what were you ex what were no, you expecting? stop you're going too far whoa, whoa. no you're going too far neil 
Keep going. Damien. Alpha. No, keep going. Right there where the explosion is. There you go. <laughs> done it. The battle was over. I'd won the contest. I went to see Calypso. Turns out he was a man of his word. He told me it was time for a reunion. After all these years, the advisor looked exactly the same. He didn't know who I was, but I recognized him. I'd been seeing his face in my nightmares for 30 years. <coughs> Calypso had one more special prize for me. Dinner for one. That's right. Thirty years is a long time to be locked away. You get kind of tired of asylum food. But after all this time, something new was on the menu. As much as I hated to admit it, over the years I developed a special craving. Oh. For human flesh. <laughs> he ate him. Damn. He's a cannibal. Mm. All right, All right ready for the last out. one, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it, Neil. This is the. This is this. Is, <coughs> this is. <coughs> this is everything. Dreamed about my boss. Mean to be so clumsy. Hold on, did, like, I didn't let me. Mean to upset him. I didn't mean to be so clumsy. Damn it. I didn't mean to be so clumsy. What are you trying to do? I didn't mean to. Whose shirt fits like this? <laughs> I don't know. It's like a it's like a bodysuit, tight, <laughs> tight bodysuit. <laughs> <laughs> Contest, and now I was gonna be free. I went to see Calypso. I told him I wanted my prize. But you know what? There's always a price to pay for something you really, really want. If I took the key, Mr. Creel was gonna die. Why couldn't he just have been nice to me? Why it's couldn't funny. he have just been nice? Now that I had the key, I didn't want it anymore. What a bitch. I like my new face now. Much better than the old one. It doesn't cry and it doesn't look scared and it'll always be pretty, even when I'm old and gray inside. There's a whole lot of people in the world just like Mr. Creel. Someone has to show them that they can't do bad stuff to people like me. Damn. Damn. Just got That's a right. twisted story. Yeah, dog. You believe that? Get it? Twisted Finish. story. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Neo. <laughs> we're going to get canceled now. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get canceled now. <laughs> That's it? That's all the characters? <laughs> so, so explain to me, who was Warhawk then? Who was he? Just the military trying to kill us. Oh, okay. He was supposed to be an unlockable character, and then that just never panned out. But in the Twisted Metal PS3 version, there's a you can play as a helicopter. Oh, that's cool. So now that we played, Last... huh? I was gonna say, uh, that's it, everybody. We did it. You saw all the endings. It's it's been fun playing Twisted Metal that I've never played, but now I have. I was gonna ask if now now that we play Twisted Metal Black, do you think maybe you'd want to play? I've never played Twisted Metal One, but Twisted Metal Two is is always a game that I've always like loved because it was uh, the first one I played, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a lot more cartoony than this one. Okay, but but it's still got that core like gameplay mm -hmm. that's the same 
and, and then I have they, they don't even don't even bother with Twisted Metal three and four unless people were like, you gotta play those, and we got a, like a right. fucking thousand views. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and. And then, and then there's like head on, which I have for the PS2, which we could play the same way as this, which is a sequel to Twist Metal One and Two, um, because Twist Metal Three and Four were actually taken over by another company. That's why they aren't good. <laughs> 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 and so head on is supposed to be an actual direct sequel to One and Two instead of Three and Four. Okay. And the gameplay is really good. The endings are pretty. They're decent. It it's like similar it's a comic book um told art style. Like mm-hmm. this one was like three D um CGI uh renders it, but yeah. the other one's just two D. Sometimes it has a little bit of animation to it, but it's mostly just storyboarding. Yeah. It, but this but it's still good to watch. And um what, this one? Yeah. No, the the head-on one. Oh, okay, yeah. And then there's the PS3 one, which has live-action film for Mm -hmm. it. Oh, cool. So uh, I think we should play all those in the future. But but what what, what do you think? What do you you think for next time? I don't know. We're gonna have to decide. I don't know. I don't know what we should do. You know what we should do. You know, well, you know who the you know these people who Harry Harpy. Mm-hmm. Remember, we had to call him out one more time. Yeah, yeah, at least, at least once. Harry Harpy, I hope he likes Metal Gear because I, I want, I want to do that next with you, Neil. I want to do okay. that. Yeah. and I'll play it. Yeah, you'll play it. <sighs> Say subscribe, to Harry right. Harpy. Yeah, we want to make sure you get the good content you and you enjoy. Yeah, and, and hopefully Harry Harpy becomes multiple other people, not just Harry Harpy, you know? And right, I can Harry Harpy other 1, people's Harry name. Harpy 2, Harry Harpy 3, right, yeah. And that would be so funny, Neil, if other people started naming themselves <laughs> Harry Harpy because of this video. <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> and then like it just becomes a meme like harry harpy and then he he like logs into tiktok one day and he sees like his name is just like trending it's like what <laughs> yeah what's happening that's that's my username for youtube what happened <laughs> he flips into like <laughs> like uh fox news or some shit and and then they're like harry harpy trending on on online twitter everything it's just harry harpy harry harpy like look at this meme and they show like these videos from the internet and and then like people's moms are like hey have you heard about this this harry harpy like I've been hearing about him on the news and and then the kid is just coming home from school and he's like yeah mom that was like last week you know you're so fucking <laughs> what's a what what do kids call like lamos nowadays you know what i mean losers <laughs> people are uh, hip no. <clears throat> no they uh they called them <laughs> boomers <laughs> no they don't even say that anymore oh they call they them millennials like... don't they no they don't they don't. They say, um, let me think. They'll call. They'll say like, like, like you're a, like you're a capper. Um, capper doesn't that say, cat mean like that's cool or something? That's cap. No, it means no. It, it means uh, it means like <clears throat> if if you're if they say no cap, they mean like no like no kidding, no fooling kind of thing. Um, so when they say you're a capper, you're saying like you're. You're like lying, like you're a liar. Um, what else do they say? Uh, they they say that's like a straight L, where like, like like that's an L, where like you know they they say like it's an L because you're like like you just lost at something, or 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 you just got like a, or you just something bad just happened to you. So they say, oh that's that's, you know that's that's an L, or or, or they'll say like oh that's tough or something like that. It's tough, um, or whatever. Like it, it's nothing I don't understand. It's it, there's no weird gibberish. Not yet. 
Or is it just stupid fucking, like, internet speak? Like, can you not It's speak? internet speak, yeah, yeah. So, so they'll say things like, um, like, on God, meaning, like, like, you know, I'm say I'm serious. I'm not kidding around. Like, what's uh, on God mean? I don't know. I just got the W in uh, eight times in a row. No cap on God, kind of thing. Where like they're saying like <laughs> like they're like they're what like they're swearing whole... on God, like that kind of thing. That that's not the exact way they say uh, it. But so that's like what, saying like I swear to God, it's just on God. Yeah, that's how they say it now. On oh. God. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God! Any 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 new ones that I'll I'll report it back to you. But yeah, it's it's they say, they they say that's a fat hell. They say W. They say uh. It's like this is embarrassing. Ah, that's that's how that's how Gen Z talks. Oh my God! Can you imagine them in the workplace? Yeah, they're probably gonna say things like that because that's gonna be part of their childhood. They they're just, just like just how. Just how we say things like, uh, you know, that's that's cool, or that's wicked cool, or whatever. You but know, like, we say that. Imagine they're like chit chatting, like gossiping and shit, like in the back room, and they're like, "Yo," they probably don't even say "yo," like whatever they say. They're like, "Listen, mm -hmm. no cap, like for real." They want to say that. Bethany. Her ass, her ass is mid, for real. Oh yeah, let's do that too. Like no, no, um, damn, not for real. It's damn. I know this word. Um, what are you yeah. trying to think of? I'm trying to think of a word that basically means like seriously or oh oh damn it, it was on the tip of my tongue. Um, like no kidding, like. <sighs> Man, Neil is gonna piss me off until i figure it out oh my god you'll you'll think of it it's uh so like so like you're so they'll they'll be saying things that are that like they're saying no it, kidding yeah they're, they're just whatever like just chit chatting gen c and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden a millennial comes over to the desk and they need something and they're like oh hold on i gotta go talk to the guy. they roll their eyes or whatever the Gen yeah. Z does, you know, mm -hmm. do they roll their mm -hmm. eyes or do they like fucking spin around in a 360 and then like down? No, no, they'll, no they'll, <laughs> they'll still roll their eyes. Yeah, they'll still roll their eyes. <laughs> um, <laughs> they just T pose. Just stop <laughs> functioning. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll they'll do that. But uh, what, what, I know what you're saying. I know what they you're floss. saying. They floss. <laughs> do fucking. What's that game? Um, Fortnite. Fortnite. They do Fortnite shit. They start building a yeah, fort they, and they, they go they up just, into the sky they, they and just, disappear. I said kids talk about that today. Kids were talking we're about talk, Fortnite. It, yeah, they're asking all about like what what kind of what rank am I? Oh, they'll also play? say uh, no, no, I'm not, I don't. But they'll say they'll ask me that, and then and then they <laughs> asked me today like. Um, They'll say it. They'll say it in class. They'll go chat, ch clat, chat, clip that chat, chat. Did you hear that? Did you, Did you hear what he just said? Chat. Are they Are they just fucking with you? Or are they like live streaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what they're, they're pretending they're live streaming while in class. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm serious. That's what they'll do. Do you Do you ever go? All right, you gotta put all your cell phones in this basket, and, it, and nobody touches their phone. You remember when no, teachers? You, yeah. We can't. We can't do that. Uh, they'll say fam. Oh well, yeah, I remember that. Uh, they'll say uh, they're feeling salty. Uh, they'll call people bougie. They'll say uh, you're a simp. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they'll talk about Riz now. R I Z Z Riz. What's, what's that? Like, <laughs> like if you're really, like if you're really. If you're really if you're if you're like flirting with somebody, and they're really into it, somebody will be like, "Oh man, he's a Riz God!" Like you know, like straight Riz. What's the what's the like origin of this? Like, where are these fucking words <laughs> coming from? Is it no some idea. fucking like, oh, Jack Harlow looking son of a bitch? Like, drip too. They also uh -huh. say they also say check out my drip. 
I, I knew about drip. I I, <laughs> I use that as a joke. I also go, sheesh. <laughs> what? Uh, they'll go sheesh to hype someone up for looking <laughs> real good or doing something good. <laughs> what do you, do you uh, still hear people? Oh, saying... they'll also say also say bet. Why well, I hear that all the time. Bet vibe check. They'll also say that slaps now. Yeah, Lauren says that all the time. <laughs> uh, let's see what else does it say. <laughs> I'm looking up on YouTube, looking up on Google different things <laughs> that, uh, that the Gen Zs say. And just reading these words makes me upset because I can hear the kids saying it. Oh. Um, they'll say, uh, you know, you're being extra. Well, that I've heard that. Uh, they'll say uh, clap back. Well, yeah, I, I, that's not new. And then, and then goat. Well, they they still use a lot of the old stuff, but they just like remix it now. I don't know how to explain it. So, so one of the things is Rizma, which is uh, sorry, uh, Riz, which is a, which is short for charisma, okay. and it simply means an ability to charm or woo a person. So when they say so you, you got you, you got you know, that Riz, yeah, that yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah, you're yeah, risen her up right now. That's a uh, that's just I don't know. <laughs> that, I feel like somebody just famous or popular said it. Bussy. <laughs> Someone said bussy. they saw his bussy. <laughs> What's bussy again? Is, is it like ugly? Bussy? Or something? Uh, it's it's a a young male's pussy. <laughs> oh, no, Neil, you said it wrong. No, that's what it is. It's a bussy. Yes, a bussy. That's what I said. You uh, don't don't. Don't act like you didn't say it like bussy. You said bussy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Boosy. Sorry. No, not boosy. Glow up. Oh, my God. Glow man. up. Don't forget about uh, glow up. Glow up? Like, they they mm. they hit their fucking... Like, now they're sexy? Yeah. Uh-huh. You got it. Uh, I'll, I'm sure you heard this one. It, this hits different. Uh, oh, and I... Oop. And then they all, they they start a lot of sentences where they'll go, it's given blah 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 vibes. They'll say, hold on, let him cook. <laughs> there's a there's a kid in my wrestling class that says that because uh, let him cook. <laughs> yeah, because we'll be doing a like a, just working or whatever in the middle of the ring doing some kind of arm yeah some kind of arm maneuver and and it'll be it'll, people will be like. What's he doing? Like, why isn't he? He's not doing the spot, right? And then he's like, uh, let, let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Oh, they'll say things are out of pocket, which I'm yeah. sure you know what that is. Like random. Uh, they'll say, yeah, they'll say I'm shook. So, I mean, a lot of it, a lot of it's still around, but there's some new ones that I know I'm going to hear next year. <laughs> uh, you know about, you know about Slay. Uh, oh, oh, I love when they say, Oh my bad. When they clearly know it's they did something wrong, and I'll be like, "Yeah, I know it's your bad." Yeah, when they're just being a dick. They'll yeah, play. they'll say, "Oh my bad." Oh, it's it's kind of like um, it's like, "Oh, I'm I'm sorry." Yeah, you you can come with us. I I didn't mean to upset you. No, nah, I'm right. good. No, nah, I'm good. No, nah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm excited for the next time we record. We're gonna have to figure out what we wanna record. Yeah, Mr. Neil. All right, I'm gonna go to bed. Well, finally, because I've been—it's after midnight, and like I I'm, know, I've been trying to keep my voice down, but I can't really tell if I when I have my headphones are on, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I do the same. And, and people, people are probably gonna be upset at me in the morning. My girlfriend's gonna yell at me, and she's she's gonna hit, she's, she's gonna hit me. She's gonna hit you. She's gonna hit you. She's, she's gonna hit me. <laughs> my God. <laughs> That's not a good relationship. No, 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 Neil. She doesn't hit me. She doesn't. Oh, okay. A, she doesn't a, hit you. It's a good relationship. Okay, so we're, good. we're gonna we're My gonna blood. talk we're gonna talk about it because that's what good couples okay. do. That's right. We don't we don't hit each other. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. <laughs> bye. 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 Bye.